So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week five. If you guys don't know, we usually look at these seasonal challenges and everywhere. So that way, if you guys are away from your computer, you guys have a general idea of what you guys are going to be doing or going to get from everywhere. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Acolytes has sent five complete week five of the Bladed Path quest. I haven't done this yet, obviously. I just got home from work, so I'm definitely going to be doing this right after this video. Uh, Master Magus, complete co combat encounters in the altars of S summoning, more difficult encounters grant more or bonus progress. Sorry, I again, I just got off work. I'm super hungry. Um, not hard. This, you just have to go to altars of summoning, which I say not hard, but I don't have a team to do this with. So it might be kind of annoying for me. We have runic rifles, defeat targets with scout rifles or sniper rifles, earn bonus progress by defeating guardians or by defeating combatants in season of the witch activities. So you can definitely combine this one with uh, Master Magus because uh, obviously which which queen activity or which activities I should say, these two are gonna be super simple to do. Solve the cunning test in the Ember Embaru engine and identif identify minor arcana. I don't know this one, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's I have the minor arcana identified already, but not the cunning conjured. So I definitely would just look this up on YouTube just to see like, how do you do it? Because I currently don't know. Uh, we have cursed by, the, by the success, acquire the hand cannon, malediction. I love this hand cannon so much so that I do wanna make a review on it. That being said, I don't think I will. But I do want to do it because I think this hand cannon is super, super cool. We have Fleeting Glory, complete crucible matches in the competitive playlist, earn bonus progress for wins. I might do this just because I do want to get the sniper rifle eventually, even though I probably won't ever use it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, defeat combatants with weapons that use special ammunition. This one is not hard. Just I would actually combine this with this one because of the sniper rifle um yeah i would probably just do these two and then this one and then yeah i would probably just do that and have a sniper rifle that has like lead from gold or something like that so that way i can have the uptime on that sniper to be really high and then high caliber defeat guardians in crucible or gambit with submachine guns both scout rifles sniper rifles or machine guns earn bonus progress for sniper rifle or machine gun final blows um this might be rough it says crucible or gambit i would probably do it in gambit just because um we already have a crucible one so i i would probably do this for gambit um and then i would do i would combine this one with this one with this one oh no yeah i can do i think or, or by team commence you know the witch activities yeah i get yeah i could do these all together that being said i probably wouldn't really trip about this one too much i'd probably just do these three right there so let me know what you guys are excited to do. I am going to be honest with you guys. I don't really care about seasonal challenges right now just because I'm already level 100. And the only reason I'm going to be completing the seasonal challenges is for this bitch right here, because it gives you, I think, 3000 or 6000 bright does. I don't remember. Um, as for Eververse, we have Byssinian Gold. Wow. I haven't seen this be sold for a while. Definitely pick it up. I know I talk a lot of shit about Byssinian Gold in my armor reviews just because i'm not the biggest fan of the like the brown color on the armor but it is a good shader specifically you guys will see the off color for armor is black so it is really cool because if you find an armor set that takes a lot of the off colors then you're going to see a lot of black on that and then cloth always takes black so that's why i say it's really good if you want a black color because then you can do like a cloth armor look and then that's just going to take the black so that's why i would recommend abyssinian we have Tyrion Abyss. <sighs> Not the biggest fan of this color. Like, I've seen some people do some cool stuff with it. I just don't personally like it. Um, because it has a really gross off-white, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of it. And then we have Cannon Fodder. We have Unhearing to be Told. This is the ornament for what's it called? Imperial Decree. I would recommend it because I, I like the the uh, the iron sights of this one a lot more than the original just because I'm not, just not the biggest fan of the original ones. Um, that being said, I do wish it was a little bit different just because the barrel is just very too it's too big. But it's again, minor things. I much prefer this one over the basic look of it. We have Simon Says, which apparently changes depending what subclass you're wearing which is interesting. I don't know what it does unless it's one of those like to use your super and then it pops out with your super, which would be pretty cool. Nope. 
So I'm guessing because it says right here reacts with unique aesthetics based on your equipped subclass. So I think that was arc. Fuck it. Let's go see. Let's go see void, I guess. Nope. Let me see. We just did the a video right now. So that, that one should be going up soon. So is it like it just looks like the ghost changes color. That's obscenely annoying. Okay, cool. So at the bottom we have penguin projection. We have whatever the fuck this says. It is the vice skin for the gun. I definitely would get this. Uh, I say would, I'm probably gonna get it right now just because I do think this looks way better than the actual look of the gun. So yeah, we're just gonna pick it up. We have sunny day seeker. You know, if these like moved when you were like actually speeding, I think that would have been really cool. Uh, Swift persistence. Then Exotech shell. I think this, this shell looks really cool. Uh, eerie hands. You know, I kind of want to pick this up for Halloween. Uh, conductor. I wonder if this like is like a forever one or if it's like timed. It looks like it's forever. That's cool. And then for the shaders, we have uh wait, do we have to transmit effect? Okay. Lattice entrance. We should do these first. I don't even have this. How much is it? 450. Fuck that. Uh, Dido capsule entrance. And then uh, Eldritch effect effects. Mm, not the biggest fan of this one. Then we have a uh, Coleopetra. Coleopetra, yeah. I'm gonna pick this up just because I want to have all the shaders. But I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know if I'm gonna use the shader or not. To be fair, I'm not. This is probably not the best um, shader to like showcase or the best set to showcase this because of blues. But my gut feeling is I'm not feeling it. We have copper brand. I'm not the biggest fan of this one either. It's the yellow. We have amethyst veil. Fuck, you guys should definitely pick this shader up if it's not available or if it's a, uh, if you guys can get it just because it's such a good shader, guys. Like I, I highly, I'm probably gonna make a video on this this week so that way people can get it because it's such a good shader. And then a uh, lilac bombast, which is a good green and pink. It unfortunately just reminds me of the Joker, which is why I never really use it. So that's pretty much it for this week. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing. I have some things planned for you guys. So I am done with, let me show you guys real quick. I am done with the season pass. Like I said, have all of this. I have all of the armor for, where is it? So the hinterland stuff, I might as well show you guys right now. Because at the end of the videos, I like to show you guys like the, uh, like what I'm working on. So that way you guys are aware that I'm not being lazy. I'm just, you know, taking my time with the videos because I want them to be good. So I have this, all this armor, all of it for the, actually by the time you guys watch this video, the review for the armor should already be up. So I'll probably have it up right now, somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be reviewing the armor, how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And yeah, it's a, pretty good video in my opinion just because i talk about pretty much everything we do also have the individual sets for all of the classes i have to work on that i don't have the audio for it but i do have the video for it already so i just have to edit it and then we'll be done um we also already should i actually i shouldn't have that video up now i'm thinking about specifically the uh the seasonal ornaments, but that's going to be going up soon, probably within the end of this week. So that way you guys can check that out as well. And then we're going to be starting on the exotic videos because I have a lot and I want to go through them. And then some thematic videos we're going to do a high video. We're going to do another uh, tactical video. And these are for guardians. So like hive sets for guardians, tactical sets for guardians. So stuff like that. So that way you guys can see mix and match and Basically, it's just one of those type of videos. So I appreciate you guys. Be safe and I will see you guys later.